All right, now let's walk through creating a fermentation profile. Uh, to access fermentation profiles, click the Firm Profiles link at the top of Ferment Track. Uh, that'll take you to the fermentation profiles list. I don't have any fermentation profiles created yet, so it just has a Create New Profile button. So I'm going to click that. And then it's going to ask me to enter a fermentation profile name. Once I've chosen the fermentation profile name that I want, I click Submit. And then it takes me to the fermentation profile screen. Now the way that a fermentation profile works is by entering a list of set points where each set point is the time since the fermentation profile was assigned that you want the beer to be at that temperature. So if I enter a set point that is one day and 30 minutes out and I set it for 62 degrees Fahrenheit, you'll see that that now has appeared and what it's going to do is, is it'll say start off by heating and cooling to 62 degrees Fahrenheit and then hold this temperature for one day, 30 minutes and then permanently hold this temperature at 62 degrees Fahrenheit because it's my last set point. Now let's go ahead and add a few more set points. So now you can see that I've added four set points to my fermentation profile. There is a description of what these set points do down below, um, but what effectively happens is, is that it starts out and it will just hold the temperature using the first set point. So it will hold 62 degrees Fahrenheit for one day and 30 minutes. After that, it will heat to 64 degrees Fahrenheit until two days have passed since the start of the uh, profile. Then it will stay at that temperature until three days have passed, and then it will crash over the course of the next three days until six days have passed since the start of the profile, and it reaches 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Unlike Brewpie WWW, fermentation profiles are not dependent on when they're assigned. Uh, whenever you assign a fermentation profile to a beer, it will be customized for that beer automatically, and it will take care of doing all the math behind the scenes. If you want to see exactly what it is that's going on in a more readable format than this, there is, as I said, the description down below that should explain exactly what this temperature profile is going to do. To actually assign a temperature profile, simply go back to your list of controllers, choose set mode on the controller that you want to assign the profile to, choose beer profile from the list, select the profile that you want to assign, and then choose set beer profile. Similar to the other temperature control methods, you will need to wait a few seconds for the setting to take effect. And that is how fermentation profiles work from within FermentTrack.